In this video, I will talk about biting behavior and provide you with some general strategies on managing the behavior. Every child is unique, with unique strengths and struggles. Children with autism may engage in a diversity of behaviors and the reason for challenging behavior can vary across individuals, environments and needs. Very important to know here is that before you decide to interfere on a behavior, you need to find out the true function of the behavior that will guide your intervention. So, biting behavior in children with autism refers to the act of a child with autism biting themselves, others, or objects. It is not uncommon for children with autism to engage in biting as a form of communication, sensory seeking, self-regulation, or in a response to various triggers. It is important to note that not all children with autism exhibit biting behavior, but for those who do, it can be challenging to manage this behavior. Biting behavior can manifest in different ways depending on the individual child and the underlying reason for the behavior. Sometimes non-verbal children with autism may bite as a way of expressing frustration, discomfort or a need for attention. Some children with autism may engage in biting because they seek sensory input. The act of biting provides a certain sensation that they find comforting and satisfying. In other cases, biting may occur as a response to overwhelming situations, changes in routine, or when the child is experiencing high level of anxiety or stress. Biting can also be a self-stimulatory behavior that helps the child cope with emotions or sensory overload. It is crucial to approach the management of biting behavior with patient, understanding and evidence-based strategies. Here are some scientific supported strategies that could help with biting behavior. First, functional communication. Teach the child alternative, appropriate ways to communicate their needs and feelings. This may include using pictures, gestures, sign language, or augmentative and alternative technology AC devices. For example, if the child wants adult's attention, the child can use a picture of hug or play and hand it to the adult. Second, positive reinforcement. Implement a system of positive reinforcement to encourage and reward appropriate behaviors. Praise and reward the child when they communicate effectively, share toys, or interact positively with others. For example, if the child verbally says, my turn, and does not engage in biting, you will reinforce with praise the functional communication and give the child a turn with the toy or the activity. Third, visual support. Use visual supports like schedules, social stories, or visual cues to help the child understand expectations and upcoming events, reducing anxiety and stress. Here you can create a daily schedule together with the child and show the child what is expected of them throughout the day. By creating a structured and predictable environment, you can help the child feel more secure and reduce anxiety. Fourth, sensory regulation. 
provide the child with alternative sensory outlets that are more appropriate and safe. This could include offering sensory toys, features or tactile materials. Pay attention to the textures that the child likes to bite on and offer the child some chewies that could satisfy the child's need for biting. Fifth, teaching coping strategies. Teach the child coping strategies for dealing with frustration and stress, such as debriefing, taking breaks, or requesting a long time. Six and last, physical barriers. If the child is primarily biting hours, implement physical barriers or body positioning to reduce the chances of biting incidents. Don't forget, each child with autism is unique. And what works for one may not work for another. It is essential to tailor the strategies to meet the individual needs and characteristics of the child. Additionally, seek professional guidance from experts in autism and behavior management. I hope this video provided you with some general strategies to manage biting behavior. If you have any questions, make sure you type them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.